defeat you because the Lord will raise up an angel to pursue them and to chase them. Their ways will be dark. They, they will be consumed. They will be con confounded and be shamed. That are because they are shaking, they are shaking you. They are looking to destroy you. But the Lord will turn against them and bring confusion against them and destroy them. That is how it is because God Almighty will turn against them and fight against them and destroy them because you overcome them. Because of you, you will overcome them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So when you know this principle, there will be no any power of the enemy that will defeat me. In the name of Jesus, verse John 4, verse 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You, you are of God. You are of God. You are a child of God. The Bible says, the John, Apostle John says, literal children, is calling us literal children. Although you might be literal, you might, you might, you might be, the, you might look small, you might look the way you are, but you have overcome them. You have power to overcome every demon. You have power to pursue your enemies. You have power to destroy the works of the devil. Because, good morning, sister. Good morning to you. How are you? So, even if you, you are a small, even if you are a what, you've been given power against the works of the enemy. The Bible says in Psalms 11 verse 6, Upon the wicked, they shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, God love righteous, he contains do be, behold the upright. So, upon the wicked, because the wicked always, the Lord will rain snake, snails, a fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest. This shall be a portion of their cup. Their cup. The, you know, you have overcome from the wicked. The wicked cannot overcome you. You are overcome because he is in you is greater than he is in the world. Remember that he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Remember the principle that he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. That's why the Lord is saying like that. The Bible says in Psalms 129, verse 4, the Lord is righteous. He had cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. Wherever the enemy that hates you, because he is in, is in you, is greater than he is in the world, they will be confounded. They will be confounded and turned back. They will not succeed. They will not succeed in the name of Jesus. God has assured because he who is, he who is in, in you is greater than he who is in the world. Therefore, the Bible is saying, Jesus, uh, in the book of Matthew 28 verse 8, and Jesus came and speak unto them, saying, All powers is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. The power that Jesus has been given in, the, in heaven and in the earth. That's why he gave us this power. He said, I have given you power against the works of the enemy. Nothing shall by all means hurt you. Look at Luke 10, verse 18 to 19. Luke 10, 18 and 19, the Bible says, And they said unto them, Be, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. You see, he said, Beheld Satan as a lightning coming from heaven. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Let's look at Luke 10, verse 18 to 19. Let, let me confirm something here. Because the Bible is very good and very clear. Remember, he is in you is greater than he is in the world. Luke, Luke 10, verse 19. The Bible says, Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. 18. He said, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan is 
as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tremble on serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You see, this is the power that Jesus has given. Remember, he has been given power in heaven and in earth. So the same power that Jesus was given, he has given to us. And he said, I see Satan is coming. Satan is, Satan is rightening, falling from heaven. Satan was falling from the second heaven to come. But, but behold, the Bible says, behold, I give unto you power to trend on serpents and scorpions. So serpents is Satan. Satan is a form of, that, of, of snakes. So you've been given power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Serpents and scorpions. Scorpions are the demons. So the demon that you have been given power over them and, all the, and, and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So he who is, he who is greater than he is in the world, that they, he will not defeat you. The God that the power that God has given you in you, the one the one which is in you is so powerful than the one which is in the world. So there is no way that the power of darkness can defeat you because you have power. The power you have in you, they are greater than the power of the devil, than the power of the world. Therefore, the power of Satan, Lucifer, who was coming like lightning from heaven. You, you, or Jesus said, although I've seen him coming to you like lightning, falling from heaven, but I have, given, but I have given you power. So you don't have to fear the works of the devil. You don't have to fear any presence of darkness. You will command them and they will be destroyed because you have great power. You have great power than the powers in the world. The powers that you are carrying is so great than the one in the world. Now, if you look at the Bible, in, in John 12, verse 31, the Bible says, Now is the judgment of the world. Now the prince of this world be cast out. You know, now is the judgment of this world. Now the prince of this world be cast out. The prince of this world, the prince of this world, the devil shall be cast. That's why we have been given power to cast the demons and their powers out in the name of Jesus. The princess of, the, the, of this world has cast out. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command the demons. Because remember, we have been given power against them, against serpents and scorpions. So we cast out every demon that is working against you. The demon that is uh, uh, hitting your body, uh, making your ways, that those are the demons that, is, that make you sick. They are the demons. So we command them to be cast out because they are charged and they should not have any power against you. You don't have to fear the demons. You cast them out. You speak the word, it will be established. The demon will leave when you scare and, and, and fear. They come while well, they make you to scare. You command them, hold your head, hold wherever you have pains, command them to get out of your life, command them that you've been given power. He who is, great, who is in you is greater than he is in the world. The power that you have been given is so powerful than the powers in the world. The powers in the world, they cannot overcome you. They can't destroy you. Remember that you have been given, you will overcome them. You will overcome them. Wherever the power, the, the power of, of the enemy, uh, of the enemy, you will be able to overcome them in the name of Jesus. I thank you this morning, God. I give you all the glory. I honor you, Lord. I bless your name. I thank you because you've been given us power. He who is in, is, is in us is greater than who is in the world. Every power that, that is working against me, I destroy them. Every power that is working against you, that's working against your children, that's working against your family, I destroy them. My Father and my God, I pray that God Almighty, let your will be done in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, I pray that God, my Lord, 
as we committed this day to you. I pray that God Almighty, let your blessings fall upon this day. As Lord, I pray, Lord my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, my God, even if those people wherever who is struggling with the finances difficulty god i pray that god you are the honor of silver and gold as yesterday we were talking about the, the uh, how the lord will provide our needs according to his riches and glory my god in the name of jesus those who will be discouraged they have no hope let them know that great is he that is in the world and he is in greater is he is he who is in in them than who is in the world they will overcome. Even if you, your situation right now is not like what you want to be. You may be suffering from some some other some, some stuff. But the Lord Almighty will bless you and will make you true in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every powers of darkness, all the princes and, and princess of the hair, the princess of every kind of the, the, pack, the power of darkness that is working against you. I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible says that the prince of this year, the prince of this world will be cast out. Therefore, I cast every princess of this world in the name of Jesus. The princess that is holding your prayers, that is weakening your prayers, I destroy them. My Father and my God, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you very much. I thank God and I say thank you. God bless you so much. God bless you. See you tonight, midnight, 12 midnight. God bless you so much. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministries.brockspot.ca. See you tonight. God bless you so much. There is, the videos are so many. There is a lot of prayers that you will pray. You will listen. Teachings that you need to hear. All the topic you want to hear. Remember tonight. that Remember tonight. I am going to talk to you. Very powerful message. That is going to be a deliverance message. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know that God will deliver you. If you fall every morning. Midnight your life will not be the same again. That's why midnight, there is a lot of breakthroughs. That's when you see midnight, it's a very powerful time that you can pray. We need to attack, to, 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 to come against the powers of the night that, that always attack people. The morning, when the morning comes, the Bible says, have you commanded the morning to shake every wicked? That is in the morning. So we command the morning that great is he that is in me than he is that in the world. So as you go to work, remember great is in you, that is greater is he that is in you. He, he, Jesus Christ, God is in you. He, he, he is God, our Father, is in you and you are in him. Yes, that is how it is. So when, when he, who is greater than he, who is in the world is greater. No power, don't fear. Anything that you look, anything that come against you, remember you have power against them. God has given you power to destroy every powers of darkness and nothing shall, by all means shall, 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 shall hurt you. Nothing shall hurt you. Tell the devil, devil, he is in me is greater than he is in the world. So you are in the world and, and who is in me is greater. Therefore, you cannot touch me. You cannot touch my children. You cannot touch my finances. You cannot destroy me. I destroy you. That's why the Bible says that you overthrow, you overtake them and destroy them. Re remind the devil, Psalms 18 verse 37. Remind the devil, tell the devil, Psalms 18 verse 37 to 39. To 39. That is the one that you will meditate. Meditate that. Memorize that scripture. Even me, I'm going to memorize more and more. If you memorize that scripture, you will find strength. You will be very strong in the spirit. That you will be able to talk to the devil and to run them out of your life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Felmat. God bless you. You take care. See you uh, tonight. Bye. Bye-bye. I love you and there's nothing I can say about it. I can do about it. 
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.